Hello friends, I'm Dr. Schultz, and this week's question comes from David M. David M. in Ladera Beach, California. Dear Dr. Schultz, my wife Carolyn has been suffering from gallbladder attacks over the past two years. She was hospitalized the first time as it came on suddenly, and the pain brought her to her knees. I have witnessed this in my clinic many times with patients. Since she had no idea what it was, we took her to the emergency room. And the usual circus of doctors and tests, it was diagnosed as gallstones. And I know what he means by circus. The rec they recommended immediate surgery to remove her gallstones. She did not go along with that at all. Yes, David, that's the right answer. Rather, she wanted to try an alternative approach to pass the stones. We know several people who've done this successfully. That's good. It's always good to have friends at your camp. After two or three tries with an alternative protocol, the attacks still occur. She's very careful with her diet. Well, if, if after two or three tries with the eternal alternative protocol, it may not have been, if she, they didn't say with my five-day liver detox. So I don't know what that is. There's a lot of misinformation out there about liver and gallbladder flushes, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but my program always worked in my clinic with hundreds of patients that came to me with down to their knees in pain with emergency gallbladder attacks that the doctors wanted to do immediate surgery on. Anyway, she thinks she narrowed it down in her diet to the culprit being milk. Uh, every time she has any taste of milk, it causes her gallbladder uh, to have a problem. Well, that's probably because of the uh, possibly the fat and milk, but that's not the problem here. The problem is that she's still got stones in her gallbladder. What would you suggest as an alternative, Dr. Schultz, an alternative approach that will fix this once and for all because surgery is not something she's eager to do with gratitude for all you do, David. Well, I'm glad to hear that surgery is not an alternative. Um, let, the first thing I would suggest, of course, is my five-day liver detox. Now, the words aren't on here, but this is liver and gallbladder. Because your gallbladder is really connected to your liver. It's like the rectum of your liver. And it's a place where your gallbladder excretes bile to, to store for digestive purposes. And it also dumps a lot of uh, toxic waste and fats there that can eventually become stones like cholesterol that can become stones. So the first thing you want to do is flush it out. And my five-day liver detox includes my liver flush drink program. Now, on that program, for those of you that have done that, and for those of you that haven't, you can read the book, you have a day one through five. And day one starts with one tablespoon of olive oil and one clove of garlic. And day five works all the way up to five tablespoons of olive oil and five cloves of garlic. And for your wife, David, I would suggest she starts with a day three routine, uh, which is three spoons of olive oil, three tablespoons, and three cloves of garlic. And she starts there for a couple days, works up to maybe one day a day four and two days a day five. And that liver flush will flush her gallbladder out. Now, she may have to do two five-day detoxes, three five-day detoxes, but it will clean it out. Uh, I'm not suggesting anybody go back to the hospital, but all my patients that did uh, and got ultrasounds, they saw that their gallstones were gone. Um, why does the liver flush flush out uh, stones out of the gallbladder? Well, it's really, really quite simple, David. When you, uh, when you take fat into your body, into your digestive system, and that fat works its way down to your lower stomach or your duodenum, which is either the end of the stomach or the beginning of the small intestines. So let's not have that argument. Um, but when it's in your duodenum, your body senses that, and your gallbladder senses that, and your gallbladder purges its contents. It causes the sphincters in the bile ducts to open up, and it causes contractions of the gallbladder to release its contents. That's why the olive oil, which is pure fat in the liver flush, is a very important ingredient. And when that olive oil is detected, plus it's also a very clean oil to digest and assimilate, but when that olive oil is detected in your duodenum, your, your bile ducts dilate, 
and your gallbladder excretes its contents, and eventually it'll spit out all those stones. Now, for any of you wondering right now, worrying about, will the stones get stuck in my bowel duct, the usual nightmare thoughts? No, I've never had that happen with patients. Uh, they come out real easy because the, the, the fat dilates the sphincters and the muscles in your bile ducts, in those tubes of your bile ducts. And then the gallbladder contracts and empties its contents. Um, now, who knows? I don't know if your wife, David, Carolyn, has one big stone or a hundred small stones. But let's talk about that for a minute. If I have ten pounds of ice in a block and ten pounds of crushed ice and I set them out on a counter, which do you think is going to be melted in the water first? Of course, the crushed base. Why? Because there's more surface available to the atmosphere. Okay, It's much easier to dissolve and get rid of a hundred small stones the size of a head of a pin than one stone the size of a golf ball. It takes longer to dissolve it. So I don't know what kind of stone she has, how many, how big, whatever. Um, but that's why sometimes it takes longer than others. Now, what other routines would I suggest? Well, of course, superfood, getting her nutrition in. Intestinal formula one, at least to keep her bowel working. A lot of people don't know it, but intestinal formula one, on its own, flushes the liver and purges the gallbladder. It, it, all foods and herbs that are bitter are liver stimulants. So I would suggest for your wife to get on bitter, which is the opposite of melt, which is sweet and sugary and fatty, and get over to bitter, bitter greens, salads with lots of bitter greens. Bitter stimulates the liver to produce and release more bile. It stimulates the gallbladder to empty itself. Do you know that if we look at the earth and we go around and we mow down a sample of everything green on the earth, the predominant taste is bitter on the planet. We don't eat enough bitter. One of the reasons we have so many gallbladder problems. On the other hand, if you were to take a sampling of every grocery store in America, the predominant taste is sweet and salty. The opposite. Nature wants you to have more bitter, Carolyn. So more bitter for you. Um, and the five-day bowel tox. And also remember, the liver flushes, that's the way to go. Now, uh, what will happen? Well, here's a great picture sent to me by a customer that did uh, the liver gallbladder flush. Uh, that's a nice Chanel watch there with a nice ceramic band. But that's not what we're looking at, ladies and Carolyn. We are looking at these are gallstones, many gallstones that came out after doing my five-day uh, detox. This person had the wherewithal to put a strainer in the toilet and strain their poop and look for those stones. And you can do that, any of you natural healing cosmonauts at home. But let's jump right into another letter here I have here from Joe in Sunnyvale, California. Dear Dr. Schultz, first of all, I really enjoy all your medical facts about our health issues and how your products help improve our lives and health. I know for a fact that your products work because I've used them many times before. However, I have a question. I am seeking your suggestive advice on what I should do with my health situation now that I have gallbladder stones and need to know what would be the best way to handle this. However, according to my doctor, they're suggesting that I have surgery immediately. Here we go again to remove my gallbladder, yeah, uh, due to several gallstones built up in my gallbladder. They say there is no way to detox my gallbladder uh, or use other medicines to remove the gallstones. What? Rewind. Wait a minute. What are the doctors saying? They're saying that there is no way to detox my gallbladder or use other medicines to remove the gallstones. Well, I have a lot of words I could use for your medical doctors, but ignorant comes to my mind first of all. I'm not a big fan of getting surgery. Who is? Except surgeons. I would prefer to use your detox formula to remove my gallstones. However, they say there is too much backup in my gallbladder and my gallbladder hurts. Bull, there's never too much backup in the gallbladder. My question to this, uh, to you is this. Should I go ahead and get the surgery done, uh, if it's absolutely necessary to do so? No. Um, 
And would there be any consequences to my health by removing my gallbladder? Yes, there are consequences to removing tonsils, gallbladders, appendixes. You know that appendixes and tonsils are lymphoid aggregations. They're part of your immune system. Uh, your gallbladder is the rectum of your liver. It stores bile to be released for digestion. First of all, the minute uh, that you uh, remove your gallbladder, your digestion is screwed up for life. Secondly, you'll hear from a doctor I'm going to read in a minute uh, that it usually doesn't help. My second question is, should I use your liver detox instead of the surgery? How should I go about it? Yeah, the five-day detox instead of surgery. Let me think. Yes, okay, always herbs before knives. Remember that, herbs before knives. Okay, my second question is, um, how should I go about it? Uh, read the directions. They're in the box. I couldn't make it simpler. I have quick start directions, all sorts of directions. You can get a book inside where you learn more about your liver and gallbladder than you ever even wanted to know. I believe in your product because it's real, organic, and natural, and herbal, and God put it there for us to eat. I agree with you, son, and it's natural. I used your products before, and I know they work. What is your advice on how I should handle this manual, uh, this matter? Thank you sincerely, Joe. Um, well, Joe, uh, let me show you a little bit. This is the book that comes in the Five Day Detox, and let me just end this by reading a page in here that was written by a medical doctor. And the doctor, well, you know what, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's right in here, it's in the manual, it's on page 58, and it's about a doctor who's a hepatic specialist at one of the biggest hospitals in America. And he was skeptical of my program, but one day he tried it, and his wife tried it, and they had such good results, he started having his patients try it. Now, this is a man, as he tells in his letter, that spent his whole life performing cholecystectomies. Now, a cholecystectomy is removal of the gallbladder. And he said once he did my program and used the herbs, he realized it wasn't necessary to remove gallbladders anymore. He went further to say that usually when he removes the gallbladder, the people still have the problem. He suspects they even have stones in their liver. Okay, so when your body's aching, cutting your guts out is not a solution, my friends. Using herbs is, so everybody out there know that in my clinic, I had patients call me from the hospital that were bent over, couldn't even straighten up, and gallbladder pain. They were in the hospital, in the emergency room. I said, get out of there. And I go, how? I go, get a friend to drive you into my clinic. We did the flushes. Every patient was relieved of pain, and they were able to clear their gallbladder out from stone. So friends, it's herbs. It's not knives. And medical doctors just are reading it because they don't study anything about natural healing, herbology, and liver flushing, even hepatic specialists. So friends, get healthy and never cut parts out of your body.